This video is going to be more about using some free media development tools more so than any other uh, like DaVinci or Blender or Unity type package. I will cover Blender which will be the first one up showing how I created a soda can and then I'm going to use Blender in order to modify the JPEG file, Unity to build the game and then use the game engine, OBS as the video capture and then finally DaVinci to resolve in order to put it all together and make a short video such as this or even if you want to do something for your game. Uh, Unity is a great package and game engine for creating games and Blender and GIMP are great for making assets for that and then OBS just captures everything. So first I'm going to start off with Blender and that's going to be the um, 3D modeling package that I use and by the way all these are free packages none of them are paid for and this is a soda can that I developed and uh, made using a tutorial and uh, you can see the wireframe on the left and I just kind of highlighted everything for you and just create this dike soda can generic but I was going to use this for an asset within the unity uh, game that I was kind of developing and you just tag the save command once you get done and uh, I have already saved this out so I didn't uh, duplicate it again second area of what I'm going to go over now is GIMP and this is like uh, Adobe and uh, PaintShop Pro uh, packages such as this but GIMP is free again and I'm just going to open a old like 1950s calendar uh, to give me that gangster look and something that would be in a gangsters um, like hideout you know an old calendar uh, sorry if this offended anybody didn't mean to do that uh, but it's, it's a very simple editing package for like uh, photos and uh, pictures and you can draw with it so I just set the pen size here then I'm just going to circle February 19th uh, that's uh, my anniversary. Uh, now this is 1954 which is <laughs> not that far back. Um, and then you just save it as normal and then here again I've already saved this file out so I'm just going to uh, close out GIMP and disregard the changes I made on here because like I said I've already changed it. Uh, I'm sorry I've already saved it. What I'm going to bring up next and this is just showing OBS. This is the uh, video capture that's just doing a screen capture of what's ever on my screen right now. Now it says stop recording that's because I actually have it running. At the, before you start this it would say start recording but you can't capture that. Now this is Unity and this is a 3D engine for making games or just other development and I created and made all this using some tutorials and just kind of fooling around pulling some assets off uh, the free assets everything in here is free like I said. Uh, there's the soda can that I developed within uh, Blender. You can see it sitting on the coffee table or the, or the crate right there. And there's the calendar with the 19th circle which I had modified in GIMP. And all these are free packages. And all this that you see here, these assets within this game were, were free assets that I was able to import. And my little bad guy is going to be walking across there. He's the guard. He's got his flashlight in his hand. Uh, but here again, this is just me uh, kind of fooling around seeing what I can do and, and develop all this and kind of just putting it together for a type of game that I'm prototyping that I had built way back in 1980s. Uh, once again this is uh, OBS and it's showing the stop recording so if I wanted to stop it right here it would stop it. Uh, now what I'm going to do is show how I did these edits and pulled all these uh, items in within Unity itself. I'm, I'm sorry not Unity but within DaVinci and edit the, the film in order to kind of create what I just showed you. I'm just going to create a new project here and uh, those are some of the other projects that I've been working on that you might see in my YouTube videos. And I'm just going to uh, show you that I brought up DaVinci. I'm going to bring in these three clips. The first one is the Blender clip that I uh, that you saw just a few minutes ago and I'm just going to change so that the file settings uh, match what the project is. Bring in the GIMP one that I did and then here's the Unity I, w I brought in. Now the OBS clip was basically part of all three of them so I just kind of captured the tail end or the beginning of, of OBS. So I'll just bring this on down into the timeline here at the bottom and uh, going a little slow here this is just me dragging it. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unlink the audio from the video. I don't want to use the audio I'm going to create the, my own audio track so then I'm just going to go up and say delete selected so I unlinked them if I just said delete selected it would have deleted both the video and the audio so what I did was I unlinked the audio from the video and that way I can delete and modify them separately in this case I just got rid of the audio completely 
Uh, at this point, I'm just kind of going through and searching where I want to cut this and where I want it to start. So I'm just uh, moving the timeline uh, back and forth until I find where I want to start. And once I get it to a selection where I think that'll work, then what I'll do is I'll go up to the razor tool right there and I'll just cut it at that point. And then I'll go back to the selection, select the one that I don't want to get, and I'll click Ripple Delete. Now what that will do, it will delete the section that I had highlighted and then scoot the time, the, the video clip on over to the left and line it up. If I just selected delete selected, then it would have just left that gap there, which is good in, in a lot of cases. But in this case, I just wanted to go ahead and clip it and cut it. At this point, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to cut it right there, select it. This whole back side right here, just going to say delete selected. I don't need any of that. So I've edited the blender video. Now, so that's got that first part done. Now I'm going to work on the um, the GIMP part of it. Here again, I'm going to select Link Clips, and that's going to unlink the, the audio from the video. Select the audio and go up and say Delete Selected. Get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. And do the same process now, just kind of clicking to see where do I want uh, this part of the video to start and what I can cut out. Uh, like a lot of the beginning part of it, I don't need, so I'm just going to cut out what I don't need. And once I get to the point that I'm looking for, I'm just hitting the back play button. This is playing it backwards. And that way I can kind of see where I might want to start at that point. And then I can stop it uh, at that point and use the slicing tool or the razor tool. Cut it. Go up and select the selecting arrow. Click on it. And then once again, I will say ripple delete. And it will take out that section and scoot the entire clip over to the left, matching it up with the first clip. And now here again, same process going through this part here, trying to figure out, okay, where do I want to cut this out? I'll hit the play button and then I'll stop it when I get to the point that I want. And then again, rinse and repeat, use the razor tool, cut it, bring the selection tool, highlight it, and then say delete selected item. So that gets two of them. So now I have the two. Now by selecting that little minus sign, what it did is just kind of backed it out and got more of the item into the screen. Rinse and repeat once again. Unlink, click off to the side, click on it, delete selected, go through the process now of moving the timeline along to see where do I want to cut this at. And we'll just play around with it a little bit. Here again, this is all taste. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just what looks best for you. I cut it and I'm going to uh, ripple delete that one section there in the middle. That way they're all lined up nice and pretty. Now let's go find the back end of it and see what part I want to cut off on the back side of it. And here again, this is where I used um, I used Blender, I used GIMP, and I used Unity to create all these using OBS to capture all this uh, of the three different software packages. Now I'm using DaVinci Resolve in order to put my video all together to show you how I did it. And what I really like about all these, all these are free. Everything I'm using here is free. There's no uh, paid assets. There's no paid products here. Uh, I'm not trying to bring one above the other. It's just they're all free and I really like them. Now here I click the plus button there and what it does, it kind of zooms it out so I can see more of it. It kind of spreads it out a little bit more. That way when I bring over the cross resolve so I can uh, fade in and out between the two clips I can see a little bit more about where it's going to go and that's all that I did there I used a cross resolve the little red mark over next to the cross resolve to the left that's just showing that's one of my favorites because I like to use that one a lot and at that point you kind of see a little bit where it kind of faded over and I'll do it again over here just to see what it looks like hit play and you can see where once it hits that uh, cross resolve it just fades from one to the other sorry that was my phone beeping and I'll stop it here and uh, pretty much got this one where I want it to go and then you just kind of keep on going and, and adding more as you go along developing what you want your film clip to look like that's what DaVinci Resolve is very good there is so much more to DaVinci Resolve than what I'm showing here this is just OBS I'm getting going up to stop this part of the recording to work on something else um, but this is there's so much to DaVinci uh, color zoning uh, audio I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this and please like comment and subscribe and if you uh, enjoy this please leave me a comment I'll see if I can get back to you